my father called me over in, I think it was in 1964. Uh, I was about seven, seven, eight years old at the time. And I was the, my pair, uh, mother, brothers, they were all in Pakistan. I was the only one here with my father. I can remember the first day of the school, um, I could not speak a word of English. It was um, weird in the sense that I just not could understand anybody and all the, the kids in their playground were surrounding me and talking to me, but you know, when, whether they were taking the mic or whether they were serious, I don't know. At lunchtime, when I, I wanted to go home and when I came out, I didn't know where to go. Uh, but my father had written an address for me, so I showed it to the lollipop lady and she just pointed the finger. <laughs> And, and then I, I got home. And there were Asians, uh, men, you know, older, older end, obviously. Uh, but as far as youngsters were concerned, you could just count on, you know, on your finger on one hand. There's only f three or four of us. My mum, uh, when she came, um, she only stayed with us in Dewsbury for six months. And then the next time she came back to UK was in 1977. So I've spent most of my life with my father, basically. Cricket-wise, I can remember my first memory was in the 70s when I saw Pakistan play England at Headingley. <coughs> I think Intahar Valam used to be a skipper then and Asif Iqbal used to play and I used to like Asif Iqbal at the time. He was my favourite player uh, around now, yeah. And uh, I think that's what inspired me to start playing cricket as well. You know. When we played uh, Sheffield University uh, in, uh, in the mid-70s, um, I think I got six or seven wickets and uh, there was a Yorkshire coach called Doug Padgett was there and uh, he asked me to come and see him and uh, before we started he asked me where I was born and I told him I was born in Pakistan he said well obviously in Yorkshire um, only take players who were born in Yorkshire. We used to play in Dewsbury Park and um, used to all, we just friends used to get together, all, all Asians, 10-12 of us and this was when Shaheen Cricket Club was formed. Uh, by myself and my other friends called uh, Muhammad Maruf, Ibrahim, Khalid, uh, Yusuf Patel. Uh, we, uh, we formed the club and we used to play friendly games the first season and then after that we, when we joined the league uh, and all the, I think most of the team were all English teams except the team called uh, Crossbank Muslims and uh, Dewsbury Young Stars. Uh, I think Mount, Mount CC and Chen we joined in the same uh, season uh, in the league and uh, and the best games were the local derbies when you played you know like Young Stars or uh, Mount or you know those were the uh, games and crowd used to come and watch you know it, it was fantastic yeah, was, you know really and most of the other teams were all uh, Gujaratis or Indian we were all Pakistani so it was that edge you know when India play Pakistan. I remember we used to play an annual game the team from Birmingham and um, they were uh, the parents of um, or related to Moin Ali. We used to play, they, they, they were little kids there at the time, but we, and we used to have an annual fixture with them. We'd right. come to Dewsbury right. and we'd go to Birmingham once a year. I think we started off with four teams, uh, like um, Shazan, Park, Hedri, and um, Azad. Those were the four teams in 1980. And uh, we joined a year later, Shaheen, in 1981. That's how the Kadiazm League came about. Uh, so to cater for the players who weren't playing on a Saturday. Javed Iqbal and myself and uh, one other colleague went to uh, Pakistan were touring the under-25 and um, they were playing in Derbyshire and uh, we, Soli Adami was in fact who went with us and we went and approached Majid Khan, asked him if they could play, arrange a match with the, the Kadi Azim League 11 and uh, unfortunately yes they agreed and we played in 1981 at uh, Hangin Eaton Cricket Club. I opened the bowling, I got, uh, my third ball, I got uh, Rizman Zaman out caught behind the slips. And then next thing we knew, Mansoor Akhtar came into bat. <laughs> and um, pretty good batter. They got 261 uh, all out and uh, we batted and we got 165 all out. But it was a, I think there was two to, probably 3,000 people there watching. Uh, and it was, it was a good experience to play against uh, these first class players. And now some of them are player test cricket like Salim Malik, Mansoor Akhtar, Shahid Mahboob, Ijaz Faki, you know, Tahir Nakash. They all went on to play test cricket. At the time when we first started, there were A, C, A, B, C, D, five sections in Dewsbury League. You know, very good standard. Most were all English teams. And what happened is slowly, all the English teams uh, were their own clubs, private clubs. They went into uh, Central Yorkshire League, 
or Bradford League. They've left that because they were playing teams like us or somebody else playing on park pitches. Say if Shane played for the Bradford League, they won't get in because they haven't got a club. Yeah. You know, they haven't got a ground. The only way we can develop is by getting our own uh, cricket right. ground. Say next this coming Sunday, if there's a cup round in Bradford League, a Priestley Cup, and so we uh, a team is playing on uh, on that day, we'll get shifted saying, sorry mate, mm. we, you know, they get priority. Mm. So they will play that cup round and we have to find another ground. So whether it be a park pitch or whatever, and if you can't find it, we forfeit the points and you get fined as well. Yeah. People are playing out going into Leeds or York or Huddersfield or Sheffield, you know, to find a ground, you know, just to play.